Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. No, aún, aún en, en, el, en el camino, in my way. Ah, okay. Okay, Daisy. Thank you so much for letting me know. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Now, really glad to see you here. Welcome, Joanna, Vladimir, Daisy, Carol, Carla, Pablo, Tatiana. Welcome to the class today. We really appreciate that you're here. Right. And it's Tuesday. So tell me, how is your Tuesday today? How are you? How is your Tuesday? Good. So, so bad. How can you tell me about your Tuesday? Mm -hmm. You didn't do anything on your Tuesday. <laughs> How is it's your very Tuesday? sad? Very sad. Mm -hmm. Very <gasps> why sad? A lot of work. Yeah, very much work. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens. Totally, totally that happens. In my case, it's been very oh, boring today and a very long, long day. But let's see what happens later. Right? We still have a, a, a long night. Right? Now, we're going to start right now with our class. Right? We have done a lot of things for today, uh, for this week. And I would like to ask you first, if you have questions about the activity that we did yesterday. Do you have questions about the use of can or can't? No? No questions? Okay. Well, if we don't have questions, right, we are going to work right now. I'm gonna show you right now a a shipping slip, a real shipping slip. Wait. Second. That's the first activity that we're going to do today. Can you see my screen? Yes? No, uh, yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Very well. Do you remember this activity that we were doing yesterday? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, very well. Now, today, I want you to look at this, this, uh, page right this this is a real shipping slip right so well or, or a shipping form i'm going to ask you questions i want you to look at this and i'm just going to ask you questions to see if you um kind of get what it says okay easy questions easy easy questions now we're going to start with the first question listen to me please Right. The first question that I have for you, just give me a moment. Right. The first a second. The first question that I have for you is what is the shipping address? What is the shipping address in this in this shipping form? What is the shipping address? Hello, Elena, Oscar, Alexander, Franco. Welcome to the class. Emerson, welcome to the class. Shipping and universal export. Okay, yeah. yes. Very good. This is the shipping address. Thank you so much, right? So we're gonna put here and we're gonna put it shipping address right very good 
Now, tell me. I'm going to ask another question. Uh, the question right now is, how many units are in this package? How many units are in this package? One. One, exactly. Very good. We have quantity, one, right? This will be the unit, right? Or the amount. Very good. Now, I will ask you another question. What is the mailing address? What is the mailing address? It's Coral Tree. Very good. Los, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California, right? Yes. Okay, good. So this, let me put it here with another color, right? Angeles, Angeles. Los Is Angeles. the pronunciation. Yes. Angeles. Los okay. Angeles, exactly. Los that would be mailing address. Perfect. Thank you. You see, very easy, right? It's very, very easy. Now, tell me, I wanna, I, I'm going to ask you another question, okay? Another question. Look at this information, right? And who is the sender? Who is the sender? Not the recipient. Who is the sender? is the sender. Look at this. Dun, dun, dun. James Clark. James Clark. Excellent, Vladimir. Very good. That is the sender. Excellent. James Clark, right? We can see his name here, right? Or we can see it here. Sender signature, James Clark. Okay, another question. How much, how much did Tim Clark pay? How much did he pay for the package? $100, $100. exactly. He paid $100, that's the total value. Very good. So that's what we need to know, right? Right. That's what we need to do. This is the information, like the relevant information, right? That we need to have every time that we have a shipping information, right? This one doesn't have a, like, a, how do you call this? A tracking number, right? Because it's been void. Void means that it's not gonna work anymore. Right? Very good. Excellent. Right? Excellent job. Thank you so much. Questions about this exercise before we continue? Questions? No? No questions. Okay. Well. Let's continue right here, right? So yesterday we talked about the use of can and can. Now we are going to start working with another activity, right? And we're gonna start with this. I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Give me one moment. Can you see my white screen? Yes. Yes, okay. So I have these questions here, right? Don't pay attention to the commas, right? They are not well placed there. I have a few questions for you. 
And I need you to tell me your answers, right? Regarding these questions. We're gonna put the red because I like red. And we have this right now. Now, what are you going to eat for dinner tomorrow? Let's put it tomorrow, right? Because I think you already ate. What are you going to eat for dinner tomorrow? Where are you going to live next year? When are you going to move? What are you going to do on your next vacation? How long are you going to stay in America? For example, in Latin America or in El Salvador, right? How many pets are you going to have, right? And what are you going to cook for Thanksgiving? As students of English, you should know what Thanksgiving is. If not, we can change it for Thanksgiving or Christmas, right? Either or. Now, I want you to pick up one of these questions, right? Anybody, right? All of you pick up one question, right? And tell me your answer. Okay. Look at these questions and tell me right now, what do you think about those questions? I would like to start with, are you ready? No? Hmm. Tell me when you're ready. Just pick up one. Yes, teacher. Okay, Joanna, very good. May I start with you? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Now, Joanna, which question did you pick? Uh, okay. Number six. Number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. How many pets are you going to have? Let's say. I, I am going to, I am going to have a uh, three pets. Three pets, okay. Mm -hmm. have, have you thought about their names? Uh, their names are uh, Bam Bam. Bambina y Pelusa. Oh, so and Pelusa, pero no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. And what kind of pets are you going to have? I am I am going to have a, a dog. Dogs. Me too. Dog. I have uh, right now I have two dogs. Maybe in the future I'm going to have three. Maybe. Right now I have two. I, I have I'm, I have two, two dogs. Two dogs, okay, good. Very good, thank you, Joanna. Thank you for your answers. Thank Who you, else? teacher. You're welcome, thank you. What are you going to eat tomorrow? Alexander, what are you going to eat tomorrow now, night? Tomorrow night, I'm going to eat pupusas. Pupusas, wow, amazing. Yes. What kind of pupusas? Cheese um, with beans. Cheese with beans. Very good. Those are my husband's favorites. Right? He likes cheese and beans. I like pork pupusas. Chicharron. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Alexander. Thank you so much. What about you, Eugenia? Did you pick one question? Um, what are you going to do on your next vacation? Uh -huh. Okay, what are you going to do? I I going to do in December. Oh, okay, very good. What activities are you going to do? For example, in my case, in December, probably. Probably, I, I don't know. I'm going to go to Guatemala, okay, probably for two days. And maybe if I have money, I'm going to go to the beach to eat cocktails de concha. Okay. Excellent beach. <laughs> and you, what are you going to do in December? And uh, I go in the beach. Okay. Um, Saturday. And next day. 
Uh-huh. And uh, sleep. And sleep. Nice. That's a good plan. Very, very good. Thank you, Eugenia. And you, Emerson, did you pick up any questions? Yeah, teacher. Yes, which one? Um, how many pets are you going to have? Okay, very good. Tell me, or tell us, everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I want to have uh, one, one dog and one cat. One dog and one cat. Do you think they are going to be best friends? Um, probably. <laughs> okay. It's a funny. Okay, yes. Yes, having cats and dogs is crazy. Very good, Emerson. Now, let's see, who else wants to speak? Any volunteers? Mm -hmm. Volunteers, volunteers? Yes, Tatiana? Mm -hmm. What are you going to cook for Thanksgiving, Christmas? I am going to cook a uh, turkey. Turkey, oof, delicious. My husband cooks turkey on Thanksgiving too. Very good. Are you going to invite all your family? No. Uh, <laughs> my parents... Uh, no sé cómo decir, me visitan. Uh -huh. they, they are going to visit me. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. Very good. Excellent, Tatiana. Very good. What else are you going to cook? Only turkey. A salad. A, um, a, como si, dessert. Dessert. Oh, nice. Very good. Excellent. And you, Carol? Thank you so much, Tatiana. Family cook, cook the chicken. Chicken. For chicken. This chicken. Mm -hmm. And are you going uh, to cook chicken for Christmas or for Thanksgiving? No, Christmas. For Christmas. For Christmas. Okay, nice. What else are you going to do on Christmas? For the family, dinner was family, uh, the shoes, shoes. Mm -hmm. oh, only. only that, okay. Only Perfect, that. Carol. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to continue here, guys. Thank you so much for your answers. Right? We really appreciate them. Right Now, I want you to move. Right now, as you can see, we're talking about what? Are we talking right now about the past, the present, or the future? Pablo, what do you think? Are we talking about the past, the present, or the future? And the future. The future, excellent, yes. We are talking about the future, that's right. That's what we're doing right now. We're talking about the future, things that we are going to do and for that we use right this is called the future but the future it has different forms different options one option is be going to right this is the future with be going to and when we use the future with be going to it's pretty much easy Right. What we're going to do here, the function of a uh, future be, would be going to, it's pretty simple, right? It's, give me a moment. It's this. This is like, the simple explanation that we could give about be going to, right? We use the future be going to, to describe future activities, future events, right? But you will say, but Sylvia, then what is will? 
or what is the present progressive for the future? It's the same, right? We use the future be going to, right? To do, to make, exp uh, or to talk about the future, right? But in this case, we have something like a backup that is telling us, ah, okay, that's what you're going to do. You have a plan, right? Future plans. So when we say, oh, what are you going to eat tomorrow? Now Alexander is thinking, Okay, am I going to buy the pupusas where la ñatere or la ñamari, right? Which ones are better? Now, we're thinking, or Carol is thinking, what am I going to cook? Or how am I going to cook the chicken for Christmas? Is it going to be a baked chicken? Fried chicken? We have different options, different plans. And to talk about the future with be going to, we have to do that. We have to make plans, right? So we put here, previously, arrange, right? Previously, arrange. We're gonna take this gradient from here and put it here, right? Now, uh, Bernardo, can you please do me a favor and read this part again? Okay, teacher. Uh, function to describe to you your plans and events previously arranged previously arranged that's right so with the future be going to right we always one thing that we we forget when we're talking about the future going to it's the verb be okay if you don't use the verb be then you don't have anything now, what are we going to do right now? We're going to put here, future be going to, right? We're gonna make an example. Now put Joanna is going to repair a computer tomorrow. This is our example. Joanna, is going to repair a computer tomorrow. So with this structure that we have, with this example, we're gonna get this structure, right? First, we need to find out the subject. What is the subject in this sentence, Imelda? Joanna is going to repair a computer tomorrow. What is the subject? Joanna. Joanna, exactly. That will be our subject. So we're gonna put here. So first we have our subject, right? Well, I think we're gonna do it with another one. Just give me. Se me sale una estrellita ahí. Okay, tan, tan, tan. So we put here subject, right? Okay. Now, what is the form of B that we're using in this example? What is the form of B that we're using in this example, Alexander? Present. Mm, kind mm. of. Mm -hmm. Present continuous. Present continuous. But how, what is the topic here? We go on two. Be going to, exactly. So even though this might look like the present continuous, it's not. It's the whole form, right? It's the whole form. So what we're doing here, right, is the second part. We, thank you so much, Alexander, we we'll put this. It's going to, right? So this, right, so we have subject plus be going to. Plus, what is this part? Repair. How do you call that part of a speech in English? Yes, Bernardo? Uh, present continuous. Repair. Repair is present continuous? It's a verb. Sorry, verb. It's a verb, exactly. It's a verb. Repair, it's a verb, right? And then what do we have after the verb? 
right? We have our complement, complement right? That's what we got, right? So Joanna is going to repair a computer tomorrow. That's our structure. Now, in all of the sentences that we use with be going to, right? This is what we have. This is not the present continuous because the present continuous will be like this. Joanna is repairing a computer in this moment, right? It's an action that is happening right now. This is present continuous, right? And what is the difference? Do you see the difference here? What is missing here? Going to, the right? Bear. Yeah, this is the verb. Mm -hmm. This is the verb. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is what's telling me. Oh, Sylvia, that's the future. Is going to, is, ah, that's the future. But if you have the verb be plus verb with ing, oh, that's present progressive, right? So what we're going to do is, I'm gonna put this example right here. No, I'm gonna put it here at the bottom. Note. Look at the difference in the present. Well, I say present progressive. Right, present progressive form. Present continuous, present progressive is the same. Okay. So I'm gonna put it there. Now, Joanna is repairing a computer at this moment. Now. Joanna is going to, is something that's not happening in this moment, is something that it will happen in the future, right? Now, how else can we explain this, right, with the future? It's pretty much if we go like this. Just pay attention, right? I will send you the, the, the information there, right? No worries about that. Look at this. We're gonna make a timeline. Timelines are awesome to explain, right? Now we have here the present. This is the present, guys. In the present, right? It's today, September 27, 2022, right? At 8.30 p.m. Right? That's the present today. Now, the future will be right here. The past. Today, we're not talking about the past, right? So when we say that Joanna is going to do this other activity, we're just gonna go ahead and take you from here, right? We go right here and we put it in here. Joanna is going to repair a computer tomorrow. So maybe we're thinking about it, we're making a plan, right? But this is not happening now. It will happen. Do you see the difference between the present and the future? Yes. Yes? Yes? Okay, very good. I need you to understand that very, very well. And if we have questions, of course, let me know, right? Now, we have the first one, this example, right? It's for positive or affirmative example, right? We got it there for the affirmative. But now we need to make an example for the negative form, right? In the negative form, what is going to be the negative form? Right now, here we have an example with is perfect. Right, let's make an example. Right, is. Oh. 
with R. Let's make it plural, right? Let's see here. Um, let's see, we are not going to buy the expensive dinner. Let's put that expensive dinner. We are not going to buy that expensive dinner. We are not going to buy that expensive dinner. If you look at this, the only difference, what is here? What is it? What is the difference between the positive and the negative? Not. Not exactly, Adalberto. That's the only difference there, right? Are not going to. Then everything else, right? This one is going to be exactly, exactly the same, right? So when we put it here, right? It should be exactly the same. The only thing that is going to happen is that we are going to add the word not, right? So we have the subject, then B plus not, going to plus verb plus complement, right? And we have the same. Right. There's no big difference. Remember here that are not is not, that's the long form, but we can make it short. We can make the contracted form. So when we say is not, we can say isn't, right? And what is the contracted form of are not? Aren't. Aren't. Very good. It's aren't okay very good and what about i'm not just i'm not right that's the difference very good so these are the contracted form right we cannot forget this this is very important right because it's very useful right now how do we make questions how do we make just no questions? What do you think? Eduardo, how do you think we make just no questions? Any idea? I say a question. Yes. Uh, are, are you going to depart uh, this night? Okay, perfect. Now, let me put it here, right? Pay attention. It says, are you going to the park this night, right? Now, is this sentence, Eduardo, similar to the, to the affirmative and negative? Is this in, uh, using be going to? Yeah. Yes? In, in negative. No, this is a question, right? Okay. You told me, are you going to the park this night? Right? Um, okay. Uh, okay. I am I am not. I am no, not. listen to me. Listen to me. This is your question, right? So is this question in future? Yes, in future. Is the future. The future. Okay. Now tell me if it's a future, write the elements. What is the subject? Uh, you are you. No, you, you, you. You, okay. Sorry. You is the subject. Very good. Now tell me what is the form of be going to? What is it? Are going to. Are going to. Okay. Very well are going to okay what is the verb what look at the sentence now we have these elements right everything here is correct now from here to here is there any verb? 
No, exactly. So we are missing a verb, right? Mm. What is the uh, verb that are, we can? You are, go, you are going to, to dinner. Oh no, you are going to, to eat. Okay, are you going to eat dinner? Okay, let's change it, right? Are you going to eat dinner? Right? Tonight. Tonight. This night? Tonight. Tonight. Mm -hmm. tonight. Are you going to eat dinner tonight? Now, this is a question we'd be going to. Thank you so much, Franco. Very good. This is correct. All right, so we're gonna put it here, right? And we already know the elements. Now, we have verb B, right? Plus subject, plus going to, plus verb, plus complement. And the question mark, which is, like I said before, pretty important when it comes to making questions. Now, let's put it here and here. Now, let's go ahead and make examples, right? We have our examples there. We have affirmatives, negatives, and questions, right? Tell me your examples. Let's think about a day. Now let's think about this, this coming weekend. Let's talk about this coming weekend. What are you going to do this coming weekend? Give me examples. Don't fall asleep, drink water or coffee. What are you going to do this weekend? Nothing, nada. In my case, I think I am going to watch a football game with my husband and those last like three hours because they are American football. So I think so. And I'm going to visit my grandmother and my mom. That's what I'm going to do. I am not going to teach English on Sunday, but I am going to teach English to kids on Saturday, which is a pretty nice class. What about you? What are you going to do? Well, you think about your Teacher. example? Yes, Joanna? I am going to please present a uh, auditoria report uh, okay. to the CEO the Friday. On Friday, oh my God. On Friday, person. Yes. On Friday, nice, Joanna, very good. Write your example in the chat, please. So your classmates can see it. Very okay. well, excellent. What about you, Wendy, Mar uh, Elena, Oscar, okay. Manuel? On Friday. Right. I am going to go um, to party. Ooh, nice. Days. On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. Wow. Nice. Where are you going to go? Um, um, restaurant Burger King. Ooh, nice. You can ask for a Whopper. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Excellent, Wendy. Now, Wendy, um, choose another classmate, please. Choose, um, um let me see. Um, Joanna. Uh, she already participated. Choose another Joanna. person. No. Another one. Mm -hmm. Another. Jose Alexander. Jose. Yes, he's ready. He knows he needs to be ready. Uh huh. Jose. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. He's thinking. He's answered carefully. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am going to work very hard. Oh. I'm going to send a report to Alemania. To Germany. Wow. Germany. And I am going to uh, go to the beach on Saturday. Nice to celebrate. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Which is your favorite beach? Um, Los Almendros Beach in Sonsonate. Oh, I don't know that place. So I, I'm going to look on Google Maps to visit okay. that place. Nice. Thank you, Jose. Good luck on your report. You too, Lisbeth. Good luck on your report. <laughs> now, let's see who else. Another example before we continue. I need you to tell me. Me, Vladimir. Vladimir, go. Yes. Okay. I'm going to work next month. Next month. Okay. Perfect. Where are you going to work next month? Because I have a inability. Ah, so you are not going to work? No. Oh, so do you do you have a medical leave? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna I... put. Uh -huh. Hicieron... What? Hicieron, how do you say? Hicieron... Do, doing medical. Yes. Medical leave, right? Medical leave, medical leave is when we when we go to the doctor or when we go to the Seguro Social, right, to the hospital, and they tell us, oh. Don't worry, Vladimir, you are sick. So you have two days off or you have three days off, right? So that's a medical leave, right? How do we call medical leaves in Spanish? Incapacidad. Incapacidad, yes, thank you. Okay. Very good, incapacidad. Very good. So medic, I have a medical leave. Very good. So rest a lot, Vladimir. Rest a lot. I'm gonna put that word right here. Right, medical leave. Now, let's go ahead and make questions. I want you to write one question in the chat. Everyone, write one question about anything in the chat. Right? Just no question. Right now, just no question. I'm gonna put my here. I'm gonna start with my. Are you going to buy? Going to go. That is my question. Eugenia, are you going to go grocery shopping this coming weekend? Yes, teacher. Yes. I chop in a week and uh, how do you say sombrero? Okay, a hat. A hat. Crazy. A crazy hat. A crazy hat. For the classes. Yes, my my dear, my son. Oh, okay. In Pinterest, you can find crazy hats very easy. <laughs> okay, but grocery shopping is, for example, when we go to uh, Walmart or we go grocery shopping. It's when we buy our food, right? When we buy uh, pollito, comidita, cafecito, right? That's grocery shopping, right? Who 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 makes uh, or who goes grocery shopping? My husband and I go grocery shopping, right? So grocery shop, grocery shopping, right? It's when you go to Super Selectos, to Walmart, to La Despensa, and you buy your food, everything that you need for your house. 
right? So are you going to go grocery shopping, Eugenia? Yes. And uh, Walmart? Walmart. Oof, I love Walmart. It's so cheap. <laughs> Very and, and good. Walmart. Excellent. Thank you, Eugenia. Let's see the examples. I have some examples here. Thank you so much. Adalberto, very good. Are you going to party this weekend? Yeah, that's correct. Party is going to be a verb. Look at the example that Adalberto wrote. In this case, party is not a place. It's going to be a verb. Are you going to party like, yay, let's go crazy, right? Are you going to travel next week? No. Are you going to work at night? Yes. Are you going to travel in this Christmas? No, I stay at home on Christmas. Are they going to study English at night? Yes, they are going to, no, eh? Very good. Now we're gonna say, are they going to study English at night? Yes, correct. Are you going to attend? Are you going to attend next class? Without two, are you going to attend next class? Are you going to attend the party? The next class, you're gonna put it without two. Are you going to go to class? You go to, Elena. Everyone, everyone, every time they use the verb go to, you're going to go to the restaurant, go to the party, go to school, go to the office, go to. Are you going to run in the park on weekend? When is he going to play football? Thank you, Franco. That's a perfect example. When is he going to play football? That's the next question that we're gonna make. Thank you so much. Now we're gonna take this example that Franco just wrote here. Are you going to, are you going to go to the vegetables market? Now in English, we're going to say, or the gringos will say, Farmers market. Farmers market. Are you going to study other specialization? No. I already have two and there's no work in El Salvador. Are you going to now? We're going to use the example for the last one. The example that Eduardo put there. to make a w h question right w h question and for w h question right we have questions there we have w h questions here right we know that we're gonna put here when is he going to play football now, are we talking about football, American football, or soccer, like Barcelona and Real Madrid? Soccer. Oh, soccer. Very good. Soccer. Right? When is he going to play soccer? That's our example. Right? If you see, this structure is exactly the same. Right? Everything here is the same. The, the only difference, right? That we have is that now we have the WH word at the beginning plus B plus complement, etc., etc., etc. Right? That's the only difference. Right? But then everything else is exactly the same. Right? Now we can say, when is he going to play soccer? Why is he going to play soccer? How is he going to play soccer? He's sick. He can't. Who is he going to play soccer with? And we can make oof, a lot of questions using WH words, right? Now, are we clear with this part right now? Does anybody have questions? Look at this information, please, and tell me. If you have questions, it's time for you to share your questions. And I'm giving you a lot of information. I know. I know, I know, I know. But tell me if you have questions right now. 
No questions then. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't have questions? Can we use the going to to explain our situations? Yes? We're going to do something then. Give me a moment. We're going to have right now some questions, right? That we are going to use to work together, right? Now, I'm going to give you some topics, right? Some topics that we are going to use right now. And you are going to choose one of those topics, okay? Now, within those topics that you're going to use, right? What you're going to do pretty much is that you're going to look at the topic and then in your group, in your group, you are going to talk about it and then you're going to make like a small presentation about that. So let me show you right now the topics. Give me a moment. Smells funny. Can you see my screen right now? Yes, miss. Yes, okay, perfect. Now, with this, these are the topics. I have a lot of topics. So in your group, you're going to work in groups of three, okay? Now, in the groups of three that we're going to work right now, you are going to decide and you're going to choose, um, yes, one topic, okay? One topic, we have favorites, learning English, food, family, friends, travel, daily routines, shopping, blah, 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 right? Now, you're going to choose right now the ones that we're going to work with, uh, going to, right? So let me put here the topics that you're going to choose. Remember, everything is going to be in English, right? So... I'm gonna put the topics in the chat. Only the topics, not the questions, the topics. I have food, learning English, favorites, holidays. What was the other one? Shopping, and the last one is going to be social media. Now, those are the topics that you can use to talk about things that you're going to do in the future. For example, let's choose the topic food. What can we talk about food? We are one group right now. Food. What can we say about the future related to food? Mm -hmm. 
future food. No? Mm. You're so shy today. Too shy. Or too tired. Let me give you. Let me give you some questions then, okay? So you have more idea. Can you see the white screen? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Thank you. And I put here one topic. This is one topic. Remember, I have a lot of topics. What is the topic here? It's entertainment. This is one. Smaller. Entertainment. Now let me put another topic. H, the future. Okay. Look at the questions, please. Okay, and I'm gonna put you this too. I want you to please try to, to take a screenshot of this. Okay, if you can. Right. This is careers. Right, the question that Joanna asked, I guess. And the last one is a shallow question. Okay. This is about love and relationships. So let's use these questions, okay? Let's use these questions. Let me send them to you to WhatsApp. I think I have WhatsApp here. Now, you're going to select only one topic, okay? You have those topics there. You're going to select one and you're going to talk about that topic with your group. After you have talked, you are not going to write. I want you to speak, right? I want you to speak. And then you are going to share your answers with the rest of the class. Do you understand what you're going to do? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Joanna. What about the others? Do you understand what you're going to do? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. Just let me put it here. Okay. Sorry, it appears there the, the computer, but that's what I got. Okay. Do you have the questions in WhatsApp as well? So we can start talking. So let's go ahead and do that in this moment, right? Let's get to work. Yes? Yeah. Okay, let's get to work. Just making sure 
Sara is going to be just listening to the class. So in the group, Jose, Caro, and Vladimir, Sara will be just listening. And I think Daisy also is going to be listening too in your group, Joanna, Emerson, and Imelda. Okay? Then the other ones, I think we're fine. Sure. Yes? Oh, yes, I forgot. I will call the attendance later, okay? Don't worry. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you so much. Now, let's go to, uh, to our groups. Se me olvidó, mira. Me emocioné. So, let's go to the click. Let's go to the group. Click on the group. Click on the, on the invitation. Thank you. Click on the invitation. Please, Jacqueline, Caro, Manuel, Daisy, Tatiana, Daisy, Jacqueline, Caro, go to your group. Jacqueline and Daisy, can you please join your groups right now? ¿Cuál es lo que era lo primero que estaba? Food. If you if you select food, perfect, but you have to create the questions. Okay? Mm. Okay. okay. Nosotros haríamos las preguntas entonces. Sí, eh, eh. Sí, sí. Yo pensé que, que íbamos a usar las que ella nos había dado. No, pero sí fue está bien. What bueno. is your favorite food? Es, puede ser. Podría una. ser. Uh -huh. What Bye. are you going to? Con going to, este, las tenemos que hacer, ¿verdad? Teacher, uh, is necessary using going to? Use going of, to. Yes, of course. That's our topic. <laughs> We're talking about the future. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. our topic. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. mandatory. What are you going to eat uh, tomorrow? Bye. What are you going to? What? What are you 
Are you going to going to eat? No, eh, comer, comida, eat, eat. What are you going to? ¿Qué queríamos poner ahí? ¿Qué vas a comer mañana? Esa es la pregunta que queremos poner. Sí. Ok, but it, it is spelled E-A-T. What uh -huh. are you going to eat? Solo así, solo no. it. No, no, sí, no es it, es it. What are you going to eat? Delete that. ¿Así? No. Borrar, no, bórrelo, bórrelo, bórrelo. Esa, esa, sí, ya está ahí. It. E. T. No, E-A-T. Ah, E-A-T. Ah, no. ¿Así? Ajá. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, what, eh, what, eh, what, ¿Qué vamos a comer mañana? What, eh, food? What food? Food, de comida. What food? Mm -hmm. Are you? Okay. With other topic. Okay. Other right, topic. Uh -huh. Carl, what are you going to do when you are 50? Fifty. Is a topic entertainment or uh, uh, related to the future? Oh. Is the question number three? You can put what? the questions on the screen. Can, do you know how to share the screen? Uh, yep. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's better, so you, you don't get confused. What are you going to do? El, ah. ah, tengo chiquito. Ahí está. Uh, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to the, the to do. Um, uh, I'm, I fifteen, I fifteen years. Repeat. 15 years. 50, no 15. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Mm -hmm. 50. If you say 15, it's a quinceañera. 15. Oh. <laughs> so, 50. 50. What are you going to do when you are 50? I'm going to 50 and <laughs> no, I'm working my business uh, particular. Private know. business. Uh, Private. Vladimir. Vladimir. Look at this first. First, write the answers. Right? Or the difficult parts. Vocabulario nuevo que ustedes reciban o información nueva, anótenla porque no se van a acordar después. ¿Ok? Entonces, todo lo que sea nuevo, anótenlo. Tengan un cuaderno, un pedazo de papel, una libreta, qué sé yo, o Word, ahí abierto, Notepad, qué sé yo, y anoten todo lo que sea nuevo. Porque por experiencia les digo, no se van a acordar de las palabras que ustedes están viendo. Private business. Private. Negocio particular, negocio privado, private business. O puede decir, 
My own business, mi negocio propio. Mira, own business. My, my own business, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. See ya, bye bye. Uh, Vladimir. Uh, are you going to get in shape? I am going to get in shape uh, in the next in three months. I I will. Eso espero. I am going to get in shape in three months. Tres meses. Espero poderme forma. That is too fast. <laughs> Así como voy, sí. <laughs> Another question. Eh, entonces, los dos tópicos vamos a ver. Future in entertainment. Yo digo. Vale, ok. Vale, Bernardo. What are you going to do when you are 40? 40. I am. I am going to. Have my own business. Okay. I'm going to get in shape. In shape. Yes, because I am planning to start to do exercise. Okay. Someday. <laughs> Next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, another question is uh, What thing are you going to buy? What thing? thing? When, la última, the last one, the future. What thing are you going to buy? House, I think car. I think if I no I'm going to buy buy uh -huh. Uh -huh. buy uh, a new uh, car uh -huh. in two two, two house two airplane no, the como cover cover the uh, the lavadora, como se dice? Wash machine. Lavadora. Wash machine. Washing machine. Washing machine. In the the in the um. Se me olvidaba el nombre de esta tienda. In Spanish. Are you working, Eduardo, with your classmates? I finished. Finished. Which is your topic? Uh, topic is entertainment. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you so much.
Hello, hello. Okay, I think we're going to start right now. I would like to start with Imelda's group. Imelda, who was in your group? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Joanna. Love and relationship, nice, very good. Who is going to read the questions and answer or share with us? I read the question, miss. Okay. Is Imelda going to get married? Yes, she is going to get married in 4th December. Where is Imelda going to get married? Imelda is going to get married in the Cameron Salinitas. Uh, how many children is Elizabeth going to have? Uh, Elizabeth is going to have two children only. Is Lisbeth gonna death with you, Gushpan? No, Lisbeth is not. Lisbeth is going to love forever. <laughs> is Emerson going to start a family? Yes, he is. Emerson is going to start a family in 10 years. He when is Emerson going to buy to house? Emerson is going to have is going to have win the lottery. Okay. Only teacher. Only that. Okay, perfect. I'm putting here in the chat, right? Some of the examples is going to buy a house when. When he wins her husband, her okay. I mean, when you say Lisbeth is going to break up with your husband, so he, my husband. So are you dating my husband? Okay, okay. Right? Are you talking about my husband? So you need to say her husband, Lisbeth husband, right? Okay. And then it starts with letter T, plural of child, children, right? Without S. Because you put children's, no, children. Okay, okay. And the last one, Emerson is going to buy a house when he wins the lottery. lottery. Okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. Those, are, those questions were perfect. Thank you so much. Giving the plus. Very good job. Very good. What about the others? Who's next? Choose another person, Imelda. Choose another group. Imelda, choose another group. Imelda. Imelda. You are on mute. Microphone, Imelda. El micrófono. Hola, hola. Se me había trabado la cosa. <laughs> este... 
Eduardo Franco. Eduardo Franco, okay, Eduardo's group. Let's listen to you. Este, yo no sé si entendimos bien, pero ah. nosotros, no, nosotros no anotamos nada. I, I, I don't, I don't read nothing. Only speak. Okay. Uh, my, my partner is Luis Javier. Maybe. Which is your topic? Topic is entertainment. Entertainment. Okay, very good. Entertainment. We have the entertainment topic over here. Very good. What, what, what are your answers? Tell us. My answer is what, uh, first question uh, before answer. What are you going to watch? I am going to watch a movie at the cinema. What, what game are you going to play? I am going to play a video game. What movie are you going to watch? I am going to see the movie The Gladiator. Uh, what book are you going to read next? I am going to read the Institute of Stephen King. Are you going to watch a Netflix show? Uh, I am going. I am going to watch the Half of Dragon. What album are you going to buy? Uh, I am not going to buy a. What album? Okay, you're not going to buy an album. Okay, very good, Eduardo. Thank you so much. Good answers. Thank you, thank you. Right, correct answers. Eduardo, choose another person. Joana Lisbeth. She already participated. Yes, with Imelda, Joana Emerson. Let me see. <laughs> Siempre le escogen, ¿va? <laughs> Vladimir. <laughs> Vladimir, thank you so much, Franco. Vladimir, go. Okay. Our topic was entertainment. Entertainment too, okay. Yes. Uh, last question. Uh, what are you going to watch in the night? In this night? Uh, I'm going to watch the Sherlock Holmes two movies. Okay. Yes. Uh, what other movie? Uh, what movie are you going to? Uh, excuse me. Are you going to watch a Netflix show? Yes. I am going to watch a Netflix show. Uh, El pa uh, Pablo Escobar is a series. I know. I watched it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, another. Uh, what is my? What is the favorite movies? Uh, my favorite movies is Sherlock Holmes. And the last one. What game are you gonna play? Uh, I'm going to gonna play castle and dragon castle. Still the dragon. I don't know. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Vladimir. Thank you for your answers. Did, did anybody else from that group work or only Vladimir? No. Uh, um, the who else was in that group? group. Claro and Bernardo, okay. Bernardo. What else do you have, guys? We're going to improve asking each other. Ah, okay. I have the questions right here, so you can see them. Okay, thank you. The topic entertainment entertainment. Caro, what are, are you going to watch tonight? I I'm going to I'm going to uh, the watch the watch is tonight the news the news. 
I am uh, going to watch the news. Repeat. News. Yes. Okay. Repeat. Uh, I'm I, going to watch the news. I'm going to watch the news. Perfect. And after watch the news, are you going to watch a Netflix show? No. I I um I'm not going to the next what okay and are you going to buy a music album I the music I'm going I'm going to the music album the music uh, children music okay okay perfect stop that stop now i want you to please pay attention to me everyone please pay attention to me this is the question Are you going to buy an album, right? Are you going to buy an album? This is the question. Now, how do we answer that question, Carol? Are you going to buy an album? Uh, is I am, I am going to buy an album to okay. music. Very good. Now we say here, first we identify what kind of question is, Carol. Now, is this a yes, no question or a WH question? What is this? Yes, no question or WH question? Um, is yes or not. Yes or no? Very good. So when we say, are you going to buy an album? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes? Yes, I'm I am going to buy album. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. You can say that, right? Yes, I am. Perfect answer. Now, the next question is when you need to give more information, right? What album? are you going to buy? Aha, uh -huh. now I need you to tell me what album. What album are you going to buy, Caro? I, I, I am going to buy an album the new children music. Very good, excellent. I am going to buy a children's music album. Very good. This is a complete answer. Excellent. This is what you need to understand. Everyone, right? Now, when you have just no question, you can say, yes, yeah, no, simple, right? Aún, it didn't get it. I am, he is, just no. That's a perfect answer in English. But when we say what, then that's when we need to give more information. Okay, now this is culture, okay? Esta es una, una, ¿cómo se dice? Un tip de cultura. Cuando usted está hablando con un americano, con un gringo, que nosotros le mentamos, o con alguien que haya vivido mucho tiempo en los Estados Unidos, si le pregunta una cosa, conteste solo eso. Okay, si le pregunta, what's your name? Joana. What's your name? Fíjese que mi mamá me puso Joana porque vio Juana de Arco. Entonces le gusta. No. What's your name? Sí. Eso tenemos que aprenderlo porque eso no lo tenemos los salvadores. Y nosotros damos carreta. A mí me pusieron Maricela porque me gustaba una actriz que cantaba no sé qué. Y empezamos, right? No. Right? We need to give straightforward answers. Right. Respondemos lo que nos preguntan. Y cuando vayan a, a pedir la visa, lo mismo van a hacer. Right. Same thing. Right. Answer what you're being asked. 
No lo tenemos los salvadoreños, ellos sí. Now let's see, I'm here, dice Marlene. <laughs> okay, very good. One more group. Tenemos espacio para otro grupo. Vamos a ver, ¿qué otro grupo? Another group. No other group. <gasps> Nobody wants to practice English. Nobody. I am here. What? Okay, Wendy. Wendy's group. Who is with Wendy? Mm, I work with Manuel and Francisco. With Manuel and Francisco. Okay, Manuel and Francisco, open your microphones and let's practice. No me dejen sola. Okay, miss. Okay, miss. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the topic is enter, entertainment. Entertainment uh, too, okay. Entertainment. Uh, this question is from Manuel. What okay. are you going to watch? I'm going to watch the series in Netflix. Okay. What games are you going to play, Francisco? I'm I going to play uh, soccer. Okay. Ask me a question. Marlene, what movie are you going to watch? Uh, I I going to watch movie The Ring The Ring of okay? No, The Lord of the Ring. Uh, uh, <laughs> <X>. <laughs> hey, yeah. Next. Next. Okay, uh, Manuel, uh, what book are you going to read next? Uh, I'm going to read uh, the book The Sands of the Soul by Dante Guerra. Okay. Francisco, are you going to watch a Netflix show? Uh, yes, I don't watch the, the, the Ring of Power series. It's a series, yes. Okay, Marlene, what album are you going to buy? I am not going to buy any album. Any album. They are for free on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes, very good. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Now we're going to, and I, I need you to tell me if you have questions. Questions? No questions. Everything is clear. Is everything clear? Necesito que me respondan porque no puedo leer mente. Yo quisiera, pero no puedo. No tengo su super poder todavía. I yes, need to hear. Yes, teacher. Sí, yeah. ok. Yes, Como no tienen preguntas ustedes, yo sí tengo preguntas. Tell me, when are you going to use be going to? Paula de Alberto. When are you going to use be going Repeat, please. When are you going to use be going to? I can hear you. When are you going to use be going to? Oh. In the future of the um, sentence. In the what? I can hear you. No, no la puedo escuchar muy bien. Se oye un poco cortado. Repeat your answer. Ah. Uh, um, 
the use it in the, in the future sentence. We use it in the future sentences. Very good. And what do we describe in the future, Vladimir? Thank you, Pablo. Plans and events describe the future. Plans and events. Very good. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you so much. Uh, tell me the affirmative structure of be going to. Um, Oscar Noé, the affirmative structure of be going to. Be going to structure is subject. And be going to pair complement. Excellent, thank you. Now, tell me an example in affirmative, Carol. The teacher, the teacher is going to uh, sleep the after the class. Okay, very good. That's perfect. Thank you, Carol. What about questions? Uh, Carla Eugenia, how many type of questions do we have with be going to? What are the type of questions? In a, a stru, a stru, instruction on exercise, on, on example. No. What are the types of questions that we have we'll be going to? There are two types of questions. What are they? Um, are you going to buy and book the action? Action books, okay, yeah. very good. What kind of question is that? Are you going to buy action books? How do you call that question? What is the name of the question? Are. Are you, you? No, that's per your question is perfect. Don't worry. What is the name of the question? Name. What is the name of that question, uh, Emerson? Are you going name to The question action? is the, mm -hmm. the action, the yes or no, or do we ask? Yes or no questions or WH questions. No, each. Right? So we have two types of questions. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. Two types of questions. Right? Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Emerson. Yes, no questions. Number one. And second one is WH questions. Right? Now, thank you. Now, uh, Emerson, can you give me an example of a WH question? For example, when is Imelda married? When, when is Imelda going to going to married? Going to married. Going to marry uh, Juancito, right? When is Imelda going to marry Juancito? Right, very good, Emerson, thank you so much. Now, we have these questions, thank you. Now we're going to move to the next activity. I am going to call the attendance. Voy a pasar asistencia, hoy sí, son las 9.40. Thank you so much, just give me a moment. Control the asistencia. Give me a second, give me a second. Muy bueno. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present. Ok. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present, teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. 
Ay, Angel, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present, teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present, teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present, teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present, teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Teacher. Sara Villay López. Present, teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Ivonne, no, sorry. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Ella no, ¿verdad? Ella. Eh, Pablo Adalberto Agrego Vázquez. Present. Thank you so much. So we have our attendance for today. Now we're going to move to our next activity. And now we work with the book, okay? Now in the book, we have, well, the be going to, right? We have examples here. They are positive and we have positive and negative examples, right? As you can see, and we have questions as well, right? We have the questions here. Now let's practice a little bit of pronunciation. Imelda. Can you please read these two questions? Two sentences? I am going to give you the information. The island is going to transfer the shopping. The shipping. The shipping. Very good. Continue there, Pablo. Read these two. Your package, are you going to arrive tomorrow? Uh, where is the package going to arrive? Thank you, Bernardo. Who is going to deliver it? It's going to deliver it, very good. Now please read these two sentences, Joanna. I am... I'm not going to give you the information. Uh, the airline is, isn't going to transport the shipping. Very well, and Eduardo? Your, your, packet, no, your packets aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Tomorrow, very well, thank you so much. Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. So here first is that we're going to make the questions, right? We're going to put this in order. Right now it's disorganized, so we're going to make the question. After we make the question, after we're going to answer the question. So here you're going to put the question and here the answer to that question, okay? Let's do that exercise individually if you don't mind, individually. Let's start, please. If you have questions, let me know. First, organize. Put everything in order. Remember the structure, right? And here you answer that question. Let's start. This is on your book. This is on your book.
Let me know when you finish. Do you finish? Do you have questions? It's 9.50, apurense. It's 9.50. Finish, miss. Finish, excellent, Emerson. Excellent. Finish. Excellent, Wendy. Teacher. Yes, Luis. How do you say, how do you say apurense in English? Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. Go, 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 hurry up. Hurry up, yes. Hurry up. Chat. Look at the chat. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I see. <laughs> Thanks. Hurry up. Pudense. <laughs> you see, my, my Spanish is very bad. My Spanish is Spanish from the Pueblo, so don't learn my Spanish. Email the fin uh, sorry. Wendy finished, Emerson finished. Who else? Finished. Excellent, finish. Diana. Finish. Excellent, Vladimir. Finish. We're gonna finish. check the answers, okay? Now, what is the first question, Emerson? Mm -hmm. The first question is, Miss, mm -hmm. where are they going to pick up the package? Where are they going to pick up the package? Very good, thank you so much. Now, what is the answer to that question, uh, Wendy? What did you write? They are going to pick up the package in the airport. Very good. The package at the airport. At. Very good, at the airport, excellent. Now, this, is, this can change. It could be at the airport, at the warehouse, at the office, at Metro Centro, any other place, right? Very good, Wendy. Now, Vladimir, what do you have as a question number two? The question number two is, who is going to recite, to receive the shipping? Who, who is going to recite the shipping? Who is going to receive, receive the shipping? Okay, very good. Excellent, Vladimir. What's the answer to that? Uh, who has finished? Joanna? Who is going to receive the shipping? The shipping is going to receive for uh, Mariana, the sales manager. Okay, Mariano, right? The sales manager is going to receive the shipping. Okay. Now, here, tomorrow, tomorrow, you remind me, please. These are subject questions. Remember subject questions from level two. So the answer is Mariano. 
Who is going to receive? Who? Mariana. Okay. Who is going to study English? My students. Who is going to eat pupusas tomorrow? Alexander. Who is going to get married? Imelda. Right? Who? We're talking about person. Very good, Joanna. Very good. Now, uh, number three, Franco, what do you have? Uh, when is going to arrive the new material? Material. When is? When is going to arrive the, mati the new material? Okay. Now, after is, according to the structure, we have a structure, right? The structure of the question. We have WH word plus verb B. What is after the verb B? Do we have the verb or do we have the subject? Eduardo. There uh, is a right. Yeah, that's correct. So my question is, in the structure of the questions, did we learn that we're going to put the verb or the subject after the verb to be? Uh, the subject after, after the verb. Exactly. No. After the verb be, we have the subject. What is the subject? Is the... Subject. Yeah. Hmm? Now look at the look at the information, right? When is the wh word? Is the verb be? Right? Is going to? But here in the middle, here we need to have the subject, right? So we have the verb, right? Oops. We have the verb right here, arrive, and then the new material. What is the new material? Complement. That's the subject. So we're going to say like that, right? It's when the... is the new material going okay. to arrive? Right? That's my subject, right? That's my subject. When is the new material going to arrive? Right. Thank you, Franco. What's the answer to that, Bernardo? Uh, the new material is going to arrive next week. The new material is going to arrive next week. Very good, excellent. So we have the answers there for the first exercise. Now, tomorrow we're gonna keep on practicing the bird, uh, the, the feature be going to. Of course, we're going to see other topics. We have other exercises that we might want to continue as well. But today we also finish the first week, right? No, today, today's Tuesday, right? We finished the first five days. Now, because of that, just give me a moment. We're going to check right now who has finished the exercises. Just give me one second. Give me a moment. Okay, week number one, right? Carlos Vladimir, you finished week number one. Daisy, you have not finished. Eduardo, you have 40%. You need to finish up to 100% this week. Right, Elena Guadalupe, 60. Emerson, you have 60. Uh, Francisco Sanchez, you have not worked on the platform. Please work on the platform. Imelda, you have 100. Jacqueline Vanessa, no. 
Joanna Lisbeth 100, Jose Alexander 0, Jose, Jose Lopez 100, Carla 80, very good, Carol 100, Luis Javier 0, Manuel Alfredo 0, Oscar 0, Pablo 100, very good. And we also have ta, 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 ta. Sarah 100, right? Tatiana 100, Wendy 100, and Janita 100, right? So I need you to please work on your platform, right? That should be finished, right? Every week we need to send that information. Todos los profesores tenemos que enviar eso todas las semanas, right? Eso ya lo saben, no es nuevo. So please. Go ahead and send that. That should be finished by today. Eso ya debe estar hecho este día, right? Remember, if you get 60, then you try again, you try again. The exercise is just to send a report to INSA4, but you need to do it, right? Now, we're going to finish here, right? We It is, what time is it? It's 10 p.m., right? And I'm going to stay with Emerson. I think it's Emerson. Right, Emerson for today's class. Right, then the other ones, you have a beautiful night and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, Daisy. Okay, Emerson, hello. Hello, Miss. Hi, do you have questions about the class? About any grammar topic, vocabulary? About the, the topic the yesterday, I have a question. Uh -huh. When do you use the, the can? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es su pregunta? Dígame. Uh, for example, in the the one, one sentence I just write, I can use can in futures. Can for the for future? Uh-huh. Mm, no. What you could use is could, because mm. could is like a future possibility. In the future, maybe I could go to the movies. So it's a possibility. So in that case, you can use could. But can is mostly for things that happen in the present, right? In, okay. in our actual life, in this moment. So in that case, but you need to use other complements, right? You can say, oh, next week, maybe we could go to the movies with our friends. But that sounds like a possibility for the future, okay. right? But you, you are going to use could which is the reference of can, could, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Another the, question? Um, about the WH and the, and the let's, uh, let's question the, of the book. I observe that they change the, the subject but uh, it's no the reason that in the test. What subject? What subject? Sorry, repeat it's, again. It's it's. It is. It is. I, I can see the change new materials for the for the subject. Ah, okay. I, uh -huh. uh, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Will be this one, right? Yes. Exactly. Okay. 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 So you want to change this. When is the new material going to arrive? The new material. It is going to arrive next week, right? That is possible. We can say that it is going to arrive next week. Now, when we say this, right? The word uh, it is referring 
to the new material. So pretty much everything else will be like this, right? It is going to write next week. So yes, you can make the change, okay? But always it has to be one, right? When is your family going to get together? Oh, my family is going to get, it is going to get together. Right? You can change, you can make the change of the subject. That's okay. correct, very good. Yes. But the, the first, the first answer is uh, I am reading in the, in the text. Mm -hmm. Uh, but only that. Only that? Only that, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Emerson, for your questions. Remember, in the class, you can ask more questions. Don't worry. Right? If you don't understand, you can put them in the chat, right? Or you can raise your hand and ask questions. Okay, okay. teachers, thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Emerson. Have a beautiful night. Thanks. Thank Good you. Night. Good night. <laughs>